Hi friends, I am Vishweshwara. In this video, we are going to see how to check IP address and the MAC address using the command prompt. MAC address is media access control. It is said to be the physical address given by your computer manufacturer to your network interface card. That's the NIC. At the back of your computer, you can see the NIC card where you plug in the internet cable or the ethernet cable in it so in that place that acts like a cord inside your computer cpu and it's connected to the motherboard so this mac address will be found only in the nic that's a network interface card and the ip address is we know that uh, it's a network address that's given to communicate with uh, another computer or some other devices so that we can uh, we can share the data or we can communicate with another device so this is what the difference between the mac address and the ip address so let us see now how to check the mac address and ip address in all windows computer you need to click on the start button and then you can see the run over there if you didn't find the run you need to click on the start button and R that is R as in Romeo you need to click on R and start at the same time so you will get a run box in that box you need to type CMD when you click CMD click on OK you will get a black screen where this is said to be the command prompt where you can type in the commands to get the information that you wanted so once when you are in the right page that is a black page you need to type ip config slash all if you type ip config f i g if you type only this one you will get only the ip address you can see the ip address using that way if you want to see ip address as well as the mac address you need to type ip config slash all when you type that see you can see the display here the ip can config slash all and click on enter once when you do that here you can see the physical address the physical address is nothing but the mac address here so here you can see that and the ip address is also displayed here so by this way you can see your physical address and your mac address the next one we are going to talk about release and renew an ip address that is in windows 98 or windows 95 or me edition so here the release and renew plays a vital role when many computers are connected together within a network and it doesn't get a connectivity so there are 100 com 100 computers but you are not able to connect one single computer it's not uh, responding as you wish so which means like it is not getting a proper IP address so you need to make a release so that it requests for a new IP address from the server and when you click on renew it receives as a uh, receives an IP address from the server so this is like a request and a response so here in this display you can see the IP conflict but you can't see this in your XP computers or above because this is only in the 98 and uh, 95 ME editions. So this is just for uh, clarification. Okay. So this release button here, once when you are not getting any IP address, it will be in the state of 0, 0.0.0.0, .0 due to some connectivity problems or due to some issues. So once when you click on release, it will give a request to the server which gives you the IP and when you click on renew here you it will respond the server will respond and give an ip address so this is what is release and renew in the windows xp computer or above you can get a release and renew using the command prompt also so you need to click on the same procedure you need to go to the start button click on run type cmd and click on ok here in order to get a release you need to do you need to type 
ip config give a space and then a slash and then release and then click enter you will get a new ip address it will give a request and to get a response you need to renew so here ip config give a space and give a slash and type renew so here is the same procedure you can see that as display here they have given ip config slash release so the ip address is released completely and when you type ip config give a space and slash renew you're gonna get a new ip address obtained from the server so this is what release and renew about